Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Termination and I'm bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, before I actually move into, uh, into the tutorial, I know this is going to be a lot like um, my compositing image tutorial of Cinema 4D, but it'll, it'll be a bit different um, because I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it look a bit more realistic like anything, uh, any single object you put in an image. Um, it'll look a bit like this, as you can see um, the ball looks realistic and there's shadowing on the bottom obviously that's what makes um, makes it look like it's actually in the picture and there's actually um, a little reflection of the sky and it's not this guy um, yeah so basically mess around with the lighting effects and everything so go ahead and open up Cinema 4D first thing you want to do is get two images um, one image will be the landscape basically there's two people here um, it doesn't matter what kind of image you get um, but and then the second image will be the sky and try to make it look uh, try to get a sky that looks a bit bright so I got this one works just fine so what you do is you drag this into the cinema 4d into cinema 4d and then drag the sky into cinema 4d as well okay once you do that you go here create a background and drag the the image into the background and then you'll get this um, after that just create any single object um, don't create a plane yet but a sphere is something that will give you a um, basic um, view of what it, it, it should look like and um, after you do that go right here create a camera um, on camera so like this uh, toggle this little um, crosshair which is what it looks like a crosshair so like this little box right here and that way you're in first person point of view with the camera and you could uh, control it a lot easier so once you do that just basically lay this out to the point that uh, uh, to the point uh, of what the actual landscape is um, at the angle of the actual landscape and here you get the little ball um, let's make this a bit bigger that'll be just fine about right there now if you render this it'll look bad <laughs> actually let me do something real quick I previously I pre oh I previously just tried this so I don't know why it does that but we're gonna have to go back in here change the render settings a bit save okay everything seems to be fine now so basically do the same thing, um, drag these two images, not that one, this one, into Cinema 4D, select the S, drag the sky in here, yes, and once you do that, once again, um, background, drag the image into the background, create a sphere, create a camera, toggle the first person point of view on the camera, change the angle of the camera, like so. Perhaps it's making it lag a bit, so if you see any lag, then you know just don't mind it. Uh, that looks just fine. On the sphere, just um, move it forward, move it up a bit, so it'll be visible to the camera. Obviously, move it like that, and then let's see now. Yep. That fixed a little problem where um, the circle would be completely black or any any single object on Cinema 4D that could uh, create a shadow would look black. Um, but that fixes it. Um, next thing you want to do is create the landscape of the um, the plane, which uh, the plane is basically what gives it the effect because when you add ambient occlusion, there's a shadow that is being displayed off of objects that are coming off of objects and it, it's what basically gives it the um, your real, the realistic effect that you see let's move this over here a bit and now if you render this it'll look like this this is basically like my other tutorial these pieces right here very simple you move this into hold on let me let me actually do that again um, you click on the uh, on the material right here on the texture and you click control and drag it over to plane um, the reason why you do it like this because if you if you drag it actually right here let me actually show you what that looks like if you drag it from here 
instead of doing it the way I just showed you. It um, it looks like this. It actually puts the image on the plane, the whole image. But you want to make the image like go along with the background. So now, if you do this, as you can see, the people are actually there, and the image goes uh, along with the whole landscape thing. Um, but it doesn't look quite perfect yet. So you go to Cin Cinema 4D tags, go down to compo compositing, and select compositing background. Now we're basically in the same spot that we were in the beginning once I created the circle. But once again, here is where the effects come in place. Um, go and create a sky. And once you create the sky, that's where you drag in the actual cloud uh, texture, that picture you, you downloaded or whatever. Just uh, look through Google Images and find whatever suits you. Once you do that, right, right click on sky and go to Cinema 4D tags and go down to compositing. Once you do that, um, you select, you deselect scene by camera because, let's see, if you render this, it'll look like this. Um, the whole background is actually removed and just a sky is placed. So what you do is deselect scene by camera and then now, once again, we're basically where we started. But we're going to fix that just now. Um, first of all, wait, no, don't add that new material. What you want to do is go back into the render settings, go to effect, ambient occlusion, and global illumination. This gives it the, um, you'll see, the shadowing on the ground. Um, I actually wanted to play around with some landscape uh, effects on Cinema 4D before actually doing this, but I decided not to. And this is what basically makes it look like the sphere is in the actual image. Um, as you can see, it actually looks like it's in there, but, you know, just... Um, now we're going to play around with some materials for the sphere. Go to Merge. Actually, um, just... Look around on Google. Um, I really forgot what website I found these materials at, but you know, just look around. Uh, you'll look, you'll find them, and then um, just drag in some uh, some materials. So I'm going to use the used metal material, which is what I used, uh, what I uh, the material I used um, to show you guys what it'll look like um, in the first, the very first picture I showed you guys. So let's render this, and then. You can already see some of the um, sand being reflected off the sphere and the sky also being reflected off the sphere and it looks quite realistic in fact. Now it looks like it's actually in there. Um, so that was the tutorial. If you if you play around with it more, um, let's say let's create another sphere. Let's make this sphere a bit behind that one. Uh, intercepting that way and then go back to merge go into my GFX folder and go to material pack nope 